Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick walkthrough here on how to use the Font Awesome icon font in your desktop applications. Uh, first of all, just go over to the Font Awesome website and you can download the zip file from here. And once that is downloaded, go ahead and unzip that and navigate in here to this fonts folder. And inside here, you'll find this fontawesome.otf file. And now if we open up our applications folder, then we will find an application here called Fontbook. So go ahead and open that up. <clears throat> and if we drag this fontawesome.otf file over here into Fontbook, then it's going to install that onto our Mac so that we can use this in any of our desktop applications. So if you go into the user file here, uh, you can see that Fontawesome has been added. Um, so we can go ahead and close these windows down. And now back over here on the Font Awesome website, if we go up here to icons, <clears throat> and then they have a link here called Cheat Sheet. Uh, this is what we're going to use to use these fonts in our desktop application. So say we wanted to use um, uh, this Apple logo here, we can just uh, highlight that and copy it. And now let's open up an application. I'll open up Photoshop here and create a new document. And uh, this already has Font Awesome selected for me, but uh, if it's something else for you, then go ahead and select that from the drop down menu. And then you can just go ahead and paste that in there. And so as you can see, the icon's working. We can get rid of this text. And uh, you can uh, use this icon just like any other font. So you can uh, you know, take the uh, size up without losing any clarity. You can uh, change its color. Yep, and you can use this font anywhere in any of your applications. So if I, uh, uh, let me close down Photoshop here and open up, uh, let's open up Pages. So, <clears throat> uh, it actually won't be listed in this list here. If we go up to Format, Font, and Show Fonts, it will be in our All Fonts collection and scroll up here and find it. There we go. Close that down, paste that in. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so we can use this just like any other font, make it uh, a lot bigger, get rid of this text here, you know, change the color, uh, do whatever you want with it. So uh, hopefully this walkthrough was helpful for you guys and thanks for watching.